other character. Turn. Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and germs, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Every Saturday night, the freak show happens, whether you're ready for it or not, where a bunch of us meet in this dank, dark basement, watch a movie that's chosen around Robin, and then talk about it for your listening pleasure and edification. These are the starting lineup of tonight's internet radio superstar. Travis. Sean. Nick. And I'm Colin. And tonight was my movie pick. So Sean, tonight yeah. we watched Jaws 3D. 3D is in this movie. <laughs> and we watched it in 3D thanks to the wonderful people. At Universal Pictures Home mm-hmm. Video. Please send us stuff. Who finally put <laughs> this yeah, right? goddamn movie finally. out on video in its proper original 3D, the way that God intended yeah, how this many, movie to be seen. It's the first time the 2, 3, and 4 have been on Blu-ray. Like, this yes. This is the first release of this. But actually in 3D. It was yes. in 3D on video on DVD on a format called Sensio. And it was also what is in that? 3D. Yeah, it's a, you had to have like a special processor right. and equipment. Wait, I want to go back to what, 2 and 4 are on Blu ray? Oh, yeah, they yeah, got them all. The yeah, the yeah I got to say, they got to be on a compilation. No, right? no, no, they're no, not like, individual they're like no one's going to. No. Yeah, so is, pop. This is global warming, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they did Fucking not put the Jaws. Jaws the Revenge just sitting in landfills. <laughs> but the I don't know. Who, who the fuck wants one. Jaws two or the Revenge <laughs> in Fantastic Blu-ray? Jaws three was at least for the day that it came out the number one seller in Amazon horror Blu-ray. Oh yeah, wow. Well, so but I mean they only made what? like what like four or five kind of big budget three D movies well, in eighty three. It's one of those big like three D ones. You know there was Friday the Thirteenth, Amityville. That order. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, those, those are the a few. Jaws. Those are the big ones. I think. Yeah. Like, because 3D came back, I think, you know, we've done other 3D episodes where I think I went over this, but basically yeah. it was a refresher it was like in big 1982. In the 50s. Yeah, it was big in the 50s, and there was experimentation with it throughout the years. But in 1981, maybe, a low-budget movie called Coming At You <laughs> was <laughs> yeah. a spaghetti western that was shot in 3D that just threw shit at the... So there's no plot to this movie. It's just basically a western where they throw shit at the screen nonstop for 90 minutes. It became a huge hit. The studio said, "What the? How's it? What's this movie We're making all this money? We should make 3D movies." Friday the Thirteenth and Parasite. You remember this one? Parasite. No. Demi Moore, Parasite Charles three. Bands. Yeah, I remember Parasite. This. I think were the first two out of the gate. Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Friday the Thirteenth Part Three then gave the studios like, "What the fuck? We got Jaws 3D. Right. We should do an Amityville 3D." Was like a mm. later uh, edition. There was also the same year. Lesser move. Well, there's Space Hunter was Columbia's big budget 3D space opera. Space Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone, and everyone uh, remembers. Uh, but nobody, <laughs> yeah. nobody remembers Rottweiler. Hell no. <laughs> or uh, Treasure of the Four Crowns from the makers of Coming at You. Only you, call it. Yeah, Only and you. Charles <laughs> Bands. Is there a cricket sound effect on his phone? And here? Charles Bands, Metal Storm, The Destruction of Jared Sin, which Whoa. is this also is coming getting soon, a isn't Blu-ray it? release really? this year, this is and coming we will soon. be watching it. Yeah. This is Charles Band. I'm you happy meant, to watch It's getting it. to the point where you're mentioning that every podcast. <laughs> yep, because so it's coming. It's got God, Metal Storm. I've been waiting years for the Metal things. Storm years. podcast. Okay, so the thing is, I'm looking right now at the Blu-ray for Jaws, 3D, and it is called, erroneously, Jaws 3 on the packaging. And I got to tell you, it's not like in Best Buy. They have their section of 3D movies. It's not there. Mm -mm. It's over in the action or horror. (laughs) They want to charge more money for the 3D versions of Alice in Wonderland and the modern day movies. So they're not like, holy shit, we just want to get this off the shelf. (laughs) Because, I mean, come on. But it's so the 3D version is a special feature on the goddamn disc, which is just a travesty. The fucking movie is probably a special feature on on some other jaw. Yeah, 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 you can tell from the get go. I've never been a jaw. I mean, a jaw special feature. Like, okay, I liked Friday 13th Part 3. Regardless of the 3D, and you can tell the oh shit, that was probably in 3D, the really hokey it's coming at you, Mm, but it's a watchable movie. I've never what, been able to watch Jaws 3. Just like, hey, it's on TNT. Let's sit down and watch Jaws 3. That was my life. That was my childhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was, shit, that was the childhood. Yeah. Jaws yeah. 3. 
He wasn't. He couldn't reach shark? the clicker. It's big. I was on the other side of this because I was a tender lad of nine years old, and I had already seen Jaws and Jaws Two. I think Jaws Two was the first one I saw because ABC would run these, you know, as like the Sunday movie. And I knew that Jaws 3D was coming out because I had some kind of advance. I had a, 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 a Cine Fantastique magazine Ooh. that oh. talked about Q- 3D. Q- I remember <laughs> magazines <laughs> that were coming out. Uh, it also, Jaws 3D had a Topps trading card set. Holy where shit. Wow. A couple of the things. Where the red and blue yeah. glasses. <laughs> I wonder and when there the was first a movie. TV, there was a TV special called the making Go of see Jaws, Jaws 3D, <laughs> Sharks Don't Die, or something like Sharks wow. Don't Die, the making of Jaws 3D. Well, so it was oh, like a big smokes. deal. There was a big studio push for this movie. I bet. Yeah. Well, because Jaws created the Hollywood blockbuster we know today. You know, yep. a lot of people are like, Star Wars, I think Jaws did it. You know, yeah, it was Jaws. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hollywood blockbuster, as far as, it was the movie that went out, I think that was one of the first releases that where they put the same movie you know, like they do now, nationally, it opened the same day in like a thousand theaters. Right. Because traditionally, movies like came out and they moved across the country. They come out in New York and the East well, Coast. Then and they cut move. it back. Well, yeah. it's because didn't the studio start buying up a majority of the theaters, and that's why they I think that was started. Earlier. I think it was early. That was like well, that's in what the I was early like, days of movies. Yeah. They well, bought the theaters. I thought that was more in the 70s, and that's how, like, Jaws became this big, you know, because they went around, you know, the studios trying to kind of basically shit control, you know, what movies are seen and what gets advertising went around buying all the major chains and major jaws did the opposite because when the movie came out, it started getting really good word of mouth and the producers wanted as a plan to like get people in through the entire summer. They cut back the number of theaters that it was in. I think they cut it by half. Because they wanted people lining up like around the block to go see. Oh this yeah, movie. that's crafty. So yeah, they brought it back. Sneaky. Yeah, and made it a They're huge good about thing that over shit. the summer. All right, so Jaws was 1975, mm. big the first like uh, blockbuster movie. Great movie, one of the, the best movies ever made. Star Wars period. was 1977. Can anyone tell me what 1976 big multi-platform big bud? Er, Wasn't it Rocky? Star Crash. Uh, Star Crash. Was it Rocky? The Omen. Oh, the oh, Omen. Yeah, yeah, that the was the Omen. one that 20th Century Fox put out and, like, you know, duplicated the mm. Jaws uh, release strategy. Mm. Just so I'm not insane, Rocky won Best Picture in 76. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just... No, I'm just talking yeah, I'm about, just like, checking the, my, uh, I guess what, what movie, every movie mind. does now, that strategy began with those three movies. Yeah. And, and by the time movies. they got to Star Wars, it's like, you know... Pandemonium. Then it's yeah. over. That's what we're doing from here. Yeah. Well, I think it was over, though, because... <laughs> I don't think I don't know for some reason I lo- I love movie series um but for some reason Jaws never I mean I love the first one read the book seen all the movies but man I don't give a shit about Jaws <laughs> 2 through 4 I don't See uh, I don't I don't mind 2 2 kind of follows a l- little bit closer good. to the first one than the the last It feels like it's Roy set Scheider. within the same yeah. universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess because it is Roy Scheider, because the film stock looks the same, because yeah. it still takes place on Amity Island, because the supporting cast is still there. Right. And everyone mm-hmm. aside right. from and it's Hooper the same place. and uh, Quint. Yeah. 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 So it, it kind of it feels in league with the first one, but when you watch them, which was a mistake that I did, right. uh, at one point I watched them back to back, and right. I was like, "Oh, this movie really is shitty compared to Jaws." Yeah. But like, <laughs> right. if you don't watch them back to back, it's no. like you know when it's on, you're like, "Oh, this is pretty decent." Yeah, yeah. just by comparison, because like two is like a serial killer movie, but the shark is the serial killer. Because in that one, they showed like they don't they go completely opposite of Jaws, and they just give you the shark. All shark all the time. Yeah. Like you're with the shark and it hunts the people like a serial killer does Mm -hmm. in a fucking movie. And it's pretty good. Like in that regard, it's pretty pretty good. good. (laughs) It's a good movie. It's got some decent decent stuff in it. But it has like you could transplant the story of, I suppose, because I was talking with somebody about this this week, that Jaws (laughs) is kind of like a Friday the 13th slasher movie in a way that, you know, it's like, you know, we got the. You could transplant that story kind of to like 
we're reopening the uh, sorority house or something. Yeah, but it right? never should have been. That's the problem. It was not supposed to be that. And it's so what, that'd be like Jaws? if Rocky became a, a fucking like a Jason movie. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, you should have taken an awesome movie that's really about a sheriff's fear of water and yeah. like mm. how his wife doesn't feel supported by this like weaker dude that even though he's a sheriff, you know, blah blah blah. You but, know, there's really this this human heart of the story, but then they're like. Dude, it will be set at night. <laughs> like, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. now has to be at night. So you can, like, we were talking during this movie. It's like, oh, what if they threw a cat in the water? You know, just because it's like they were trying every other, other it's goddamn, got a little, like, like trope. helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the movies, slasher movies, and, you know, like the subsequent Jaws movies and Shark movies and Piranha mm. movies and everything else, they're all predicated around, like, we have to shoot these scenes, or the filmmakers have to shoot scenes with just these throwaway characters who have to have a scene where we introduce them. They get in the water for some fucking reason. There's those underwater shots. The thing Mm. comes up and attacks them. There's got to be a couple of those so that our main cast, who's basically land bound for most of the movie can go like, Hey, there's a problem around here. That's what, see, that's what sucks because Friday 13th will at least give you like eight to nine characters or something. And you'll at least kind of get to know everybody where movies like this, they do. They just like, they're like, Hey, look at these people like, uh, you know, you know, on skis. You, you just yeah, it, it that... feels like you're watching a documentary, and then you're just with like strangers you don't know. They get attacked, and you're like, "Well, I'm supposed to care or something," but I don't give a shit because you don't care like, about Leah Thompson. Oh, they're great. Well, they at least <laughs> tried to build her character up, which I thought was stupid because it's like, wait, these ladies are. I mean, we'll get to that. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but I think most of the Friday the 13th, on your point, I think most of the Friday the 13th movies are set up that way, too. There's somebody that gets introduced but you'll know just them. to get killed off. Not, but, but you'll still kind of know them. Not to hit that 13 them. person yeah. body count. This, you, they'll just drop you into a scene with like, you know, I'm working on it. It's like a dude working on something. Yeah, he's and working like, on his bike it, and his mom's yelling yeah, at him. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. But that happens in a bunch of these movies, in Friday the 13th movies. You just drop in to a guy who's doing something, and then, like, Jason or yeah. John Jason's come up and... Not really. There's a, a <laughs> couple <laughs> having We're a picnic talk about in the this woods, at the fire and then uh, Jason <laughs> kills them, and then... Right, the the a couple go have sex in the woods, up. and, and uh, Jason just kills them randomly. Which mm-hmm. one? Part five. Part six. Part six. Was it part six? No, part five. Oh, but part those were six, characters. The two of them were having the, whatever, they are having the picnic, and Jason shows up. But those... were not introduced prior to that yeah. scene and get killed on the and motorcycle killed... or whatever. Because right, that yeah. was a reshoot. That's well, why. Still. Well, I'm just saying, that's the, like, for, if you want to get specific. <laughs> just, I'm just saying Jason will at least, Jason movies will at least introduce this batch of characters together in a room, talking with one another so you can get, like, okay, this is this dude's job, this is this person's mm. hobby, he's the sports guy, here's the... He's the Where nerd. movies like this, they just seem to, like, drop you into scenes with people, almost just like how Pieces did the same thing. Pieces would drop you into somebody playing... A sport, and you're like, okay, I'm watching this <laughs> person now do something, and this is me getting to know this person. Like, oh, they do things. They move around with their body, <laughs> you know? I think in the Friday the 13th movies, I think what they do, which they don't do in Jaws 3, is that, or at least the, the characters are identifiable as certain uh, stereotypes mm-hmm. in the... Or something. Uh, and I think that makes these, it easier. They to all work at SeaWorld, <laughs> right? But yeah, but they're not like there's the in the front of three. There's the the shy girl. There's the nerdy guy. The guy who's trying to get laid and, and all that yeah. stuff. Like you can easily identify them by kind of the, the short term stuff. What? Yeah, their type. Kind of what they're going after. You don't get that in this. They're all well, in this, like, they really just like I'll yell something at you because we're working together. We're at a job, right? So I'll just be like, "Hey, check that!" And like, "Ooh, I connected you to my character." <laughs> you know, he works with him. He's his boss, yeah. his, or whatever. So if you haven't guessed yet, uh, in Jaws three, these people work at Sea World. Well, wait before we get they there, paid really for quick, it. Obviously, I want to say that the the thing that this, that makes Jaws distinctively different than the other movies that we're talking about is halfway through Jaws it changes into a completely different movie. It like gets rid of the slasher thing and becomes uh well the old man in the sea or Moby Dick. Kind of like a chase movie. Yeah, and it's like yeah. these this guys bonding while they're hunting the well, shark. Well, because that's what happened in Jaws 1, right? In Jaws well, 1. Well, that's what I'm saying. In Jaws you 1. You had, like, the openings were the murders, mm-hmm. you know, then the end was on the boat, you know. Uh, you do a Friday 13th movie like that? It's like halfway through it, it's like we're done with Jason, now we're going to hunt him. 
and we're all going to go out on a boat. No, okay, never mind. So, but yeah, all the subsequent... They tried that. <laughs> all the subsequent Jaws or the Jaws ripoffs, Grizzly or Piranha or whatever, basically okay. it's like there's... You establish the threat at the beginning, somebody gets killed, and we're going to find out that there's a shark in the water or something halfway through the movie, and we're going to have to save the people by the end of the movie who are mm. in peril. So this movie takes place in SeaWorld in 1983. It basically follows that exact formula, except ah. here Dennis Quaid plays uh, Mike Brody, which right. is the son of Chief Brody from the first two movies, and he's working in SeaWorld and a great white shark, a 35-foot great white shark, not a 25-foot. Well, the original you, but you almost swims wouldn't get that. An open like, sea gate. Just watching this, like you almost wouldn't get that these are Sheriff Brody's kids. They like barely mention anything about it, right? Like, I mean, I guess you're supposed to assume since, oh, this is Jaws Part 3, yeah. you're supposed to know the these characters. Family. But we're talking yeah. like how old, I mean, they were young kids in Part 1. How old were they in Part 2? Teenagers. 16 and like mm-hmm. 8 were yeah. they yeah so then in this they're like well it's fucking Dennis Quaid and and some other young, young Dennis Quaid he's, he's a young strapping young man <laughs> <laughs> and like at first it, I mean I didn't even I was just like okay there's we're just with these people at SeaWorld and then the guy mentions something I was like holy fuck that's supposed to be the kids of Sheriff Brody mm-hmm. it's like that's weird that the movie wouldn't like really direct that towards you know the audience you know that yeah. These are supposed to be like you're supposed to be like, oh, Michael. You know, yeah, <laughs> I mean, they yeah. don't even say. Bro- I don't even think they say Brody yeah, the very in this first whole scene. Movie, do they? Yeah. yeah. Well, the very yeah, when first they, scene, when he's they, like, when, better get Brody down right, here. When, oh, the, gate, when the gate yeah. breaks and they're like, it's off the track. Better call Mike Brody. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So they're trying to set that up, but so I mean, but, sheriff, like, but your your <laughs> problem I mean, with it Brody? was yeah, shared him. by many contemporary reviewers of the movie. They said it's unrelated to the first one except by title. I'm like, no, damn it. It's got Mike and Sean Brony in it. And they're always talking about like that shark attack in Amity. Yeah, but they just don't, I guess they don't don't mention their father. uh, What happened when I was a kid. Yeah, which I was even thinking, it's like, so that had to happen in two, right? Because I don't remember the young kid being in that much danger in part one. Not much. His brother, Michael, was in more danger. Yeah, and he's fine with water. (laughs) He should just move to the middle of the country. He did. He went to Colorado. No, no, school? no, like Mike. Because oh. like, this is like, he's got this, and he, and by the fourth one, he continues to work in the water. Yeah. Like, he's insane. He's working things out, baby. Oh, he's sure. Right. How he's he's like, I gotta face people. my fear. I gotta work in the water more. Yeah, he didn't see the Jaws movies. He's not just paralyzed <laughs> with fear from, yeah. like, nah, damn it. There's only, like, ten shark attacks a year. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. Four of them are Brody-based. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> god damn it, Sheriff Brody. They're genetically, uh, genetically <laughs> right. modified to hate blood. you. <laughs> That radiates shark. But, well, I it mean, is the fourth one. Do we say it's like it follows them down? It, the, this the, time it's it personal. Follows, the mother yeah, has is, some sort of like existential kind of like explanation for it, right? Yeah, like it seems psychic, like it's right. it's just meant to. It's right. after my family. It's a curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a curse. It's, it's a, a sea curse. curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It kills Sean and then follows them thousands of miles to the Caribbean. Like, does it kill Sean? Yeah, from, it kill. Yeah, kill Sean. Uh, right? Spoiler, spoiler for part yeah, four. Oh, spoiler. Oh shit. Now I'm not watching it. <laughs> no, sure. come on. Will you wait till next week? Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Is, is it my pick? Yeah, anyway, it is. Uh, and you're picking uh, Jaws 4. Never again. <laughs> yeah. So in the, uh, the, the cast of characters in this, we've got Mike Brody works at SeaWorld with his cute, I love super her. cute. I do too. She's very cute. Uh, she, she's like Armstrong. Very yeah. much so. Did you think that the two of them made a believable couple? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, did. I was like, that's the only real part of this whole movie is they're like, they're like, dude, is she going to go to Venezuela with her? <laughs> <laughs> You're like really thinking about it. Like, yeah, she, I was she, like, man, they, why does they've it? They've been to a year and a half. They love each other. I'm like, dude, that, I was like, that's sad when you get to the point where like everybody's so focused on the career that one person's not going to break off of theirs to follow the other. It's just like, oh man, I want these guys to get together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're good. But and, what about the secondary? And there was a nice jokey. There wasn't no, like, do 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 No, no, no. They had a really nice jokey relationship when yeah. talking about their yeah. kind of issue that, hey, because they were I'm kind of done issues. here. I mean, yeah. I guess that was yeah. the thing. But they have a fun like, relationship. Put this like, off. 
and have a Throughout. discussion about it later. Yeah. Because I was wor- worried, you know, I mean, I've seen this movie a hundred of times. Yeah. And I'm watching it, I'm like, you know, I'm like, this is how these guys in this room are going to be criticizing this movie. It just keeps coming back to them, like, talking about Venezuela. It was just, the most interesting uh, part of Mike, the whole <laughs> Mike gets a job offer, and she works at SeaWorld, so is she going to go to Venezuela? Right. There's at least three or four scenes where it's like, so well, we're not talking about story. what's actually going to happen between us. Well, and and- she's also very supportive. Like, that's great, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, this is yeah. obviously yeah, awesome great. for obviously his career. weird, but... You know, because she just trains dolphins and shit, where he's some sort of, right. like... Like, and like she said, she's only, major engineer dude. I think she's like doing something there to like establish a credit for something. She's like, I've only got six more months here and then a year off in this thing. And she's going and to the Scripps Oceanic yeah. Institute, which is where Hooper, I think, is from. <laughs> and, uh, are that, isn't that where his it's like a it know. is a real thing. Yeah, 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 like that's the most prestigious like place you go to study, mm-hmm. you know, aquatic. Right. It would have been nice Animals. if she said under the like uh, the helm of uh, whatever his name was from. Part yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Hooper, Hooper Drive yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Hooper, duh. But no, they have a good relationship. I like this too. Yeah. And then the secondary couple is uh, his, Sean Brody, the kid brother, just out of school, and one of the uh, one of the like, best skiers? actresses I've ever um, had the pleasure ever, of seeing uh, in my whole life. All the right Leah moves Thompson. is Leah Thompson. Ever, one of the best actresses oh, you've ever touched yourself to. Like, well. <laughs> The the Back to the Future scene where, like, she's, like, hitting on Marty probably was the first, like, my first kind of, like, awareness of sexual drive. Like, oh, my God. But then, of course, I was like, this is incest. This is disgusting. <laughs> so you should have been watching Jaws 3D because that's how I first was exposed to Leah Thompson, and she exposed herself to me. Well, I wish. Oh, that don't right. get well, the well, audience. Uh, they're like, I'm going to rent Jaws 3. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> don't get your... Uh, uh, yeah, this is not the movie. Your... Right? Casual sex Well, or something. okay, I was nine years old. Mail. Like, oh, this was bullshit. <laughs> you, you lied, lied. To me. I'll never buy Jaws 3. Yeah. To but, a nine-year-old, that was uh, something. I was aware of what was going. You know, right. it's like it was yeah. awesome. Like, oh, yeah, because everybody has that free love atmosphere. You know, it's just like you know, everybody's fun. I just don't like that guy that plays Sean Brody. I like, yeah, such an unlikable dude. Like, has no charisma. Really, you yeah, unlikable. Unlike, he's just like hey, I'm a guy in a movie, kind of stick in the mud. Yeah, he's kind like, of a lunk. It's like somebody's nephew. <laughs> Who directed this? Uh, this was by a guy named Joe, Joe Alves. Alves. It's his only movie that he ever did, but Whoa. you probably know him as the production designer on Escape from New York. I don't know that. Right. And he-, <laughs> he was also the production designer in the first two right. Jaws movies. And I think second unit on the... Oh, so it's one of those, like, yeah. you give it to the like the yeah. cheapest person the possible. <laughs> yeah. like, you like- did something... With those other Jaws movies, you right? You know this front to back. That's right. Here's a paycheck. Yeah, he's Go like the, make the movie. The guy that did Psycho too, right? <laughs> the guy that worked right up next to Hitchcock. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. Richard Franklin. It's yeah. all right. Um, Once you say Norman's got another mother. Oh, I'm sorry. Different conversation. <laughs> what? I know. What? Uh, no. That's mine, oh, oh, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. 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 You're the small cans. Yes. Right. I'm the big cans. All right, there we go. <laughs> So, so the uh, cast is also rounded out by uh, two more uh, people. There's uh, oh, Mr. Lewis. Philip Fitzroy, F- Mr. Philip Fitzroy, goes, which is yeah. played by the fucking Manimal. Anyone? The Manimal. I've Manimal. Heard of it. Okay, so Manimal he, was he a TV the show, and probably 1983. Where Simon McCorkendale, the actor who plays Philip Fitzroy, Simon McCorkendale into a goddamn a panther, or possibly oh. a hawk. And I think maybe... Will a... Ferrell, I think, bought the rights to yeah, make, like, kind yeah. of a oh, comedy version that's of why. It. Okay, yeah. that's why I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, dude, Manimal. Big, right. big yeah. stuff in the, in the, in the 70s. <laughs> Animal. Yeah, so he's, um, like, the great white hunter, right? Sure. He is this guy who kind is of. apparently, like, either he's always off for adventure. Yeah. or, you know, he has some kind of oceanic... When did they say that? He's, o- he's remember, photographed them. The first scene is him photographing dolphins, and he's going to, like... Because he's, like, the British dude that's, like, going to, like, win the... Uh, uh, the attraction of uh, right. Dennis Quay's girlfriend, but it just seems like he's taking photographs. And then as soon as they start talking about a shark, he's like, "We cut it open, we film it, we whatever." I'm like, "What the fuck? Are you a photographer or are you like 
I kill things for a living and then well, photograph pa- them. Well, that's when his partner said, like, yeah, that's how we make our bread. I know yeah. you can't understand what he's saying for most of the movie, yeah. but that is one line. He says, like, yeah, that's how we make our money. <laughs> he's very... Kill sharks. But I thought he's, he's like, just Cockney, making, like, he, they're photographing people, but he actually says, we kill sharks yeah. for a living. Yeah, like a he and is, take uh, beautiful photography. <laughs> they say something, like, when he actually shows up, that he's been brought to SeaWorld by uh, Calvin Bouchard, the guy who owns it, that's Louis Gossett, Louis Gossett Jr. Louis Gossett Jr., Bouchard, here. some Bouchard. kind of I can't remember what he was. It was like a life, a wildlife he's specialist doing or expose, something like that. Yeah. But he's also like you know apparently has some type of uh, media, like not circus, but uh, like credentials or whatever. Right. He's been he's you know like he's like a least. Jacques Cousteau kind of mm, guy, right. and he's been brought in there. And I think he says something like Bess Armstrong's characters run into him at some point where he like rammed. A, somebody else with a ship or something at some convention. Oh, right. Yeah. Why, did you, why did you ram that Japanese uh, whaler Freighter ship? Or whaler. Yeah, because yeah, he got in my way or whatever. I was Ruined my best picture. shot. Yeah. So Calvin Bouchard is... Uh, Bouchard, the, yeah. So he's this guy who's uh, the rich guy who just runs the place, right? right. Well, Let well, me apparently ask has you this. A I just past. want money. Apparently he's got a sketchy past. Let me I don't ask care about people. This. Who is the major antagonist, besides the shark, of this movie? It's kind of supposed to be Luke Gus yeah. Jr. Yeah. yeah, I would say. But he flip flops a little. But he does. But he's always making those the wrong decisions and the bad decisions. It yeah. kind of creates tension you with know, the other characters. Turn, turn off the the filters. Turn off the pipes. Like yeah. Putting the shark in. Because he's the mayor. Because he's, he's worried about mayor. his bottom he's, dollar. He's, he's got he's maybe the mayor good intentions. From part one, and he where doesn't want the town to shut down. It's not even good intentions. He just wants his money machine right. to not mm-hmm. stop yeah, like true. pumping. Like you know how much that costs. Yeah. But the thing that I liked about him, I guess, was the fact he that he wasn't like, just a white guy bitching about money. <laughs> and no, that's that, what I like. That he, it's a lot of times in movies now. It seems like that the, there's always the guy with who's the single minded. I'm thinking of Jurassic World. There was the mm. the Vincent D'Onofrio character. It's like they're so single minded in the idea that we're gonna, you know. Put the shark on display. I'm interested only in the end result that they don't care about the human uh, collateral that's going to happen. I think that's true. When the you know, but in this movie, it's like this guy isn't. He doesn't never really comes across as a bad no, guy, not an really. opportunist. Yeah. Yes, he's thinking about the bottom line. Yes, does he make some bad decisions? Yes, mm-hmm. but I think he makes some good decisions. I just too, think he and he still his... cares about the people who end up like in this. His crew yes. and the visitors who I think he just acts like he park. thinks his money is buying the knowledge it takes to handle the situation, right? He's just like, whatever, get this person on it. He's not really he's just he's delegating right. all I'll responsibility in a weird way, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He just knows lights. that like, damn it, we just need this to run. And I mean, I guess sometimes that's what a boss is, right? A boss is supposed to be like, hey, yeah. fucking do this. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to hold you responsible, yeah. You know, which I can kind of understand. But, yeah, once again, it, it still is in that light of of just a dude that, like, wants to keep his... I mean, that's how every bad thing happens, right? Is because he wants to cheap out and not, like, investigate or not, like, yeah. turn something off. Or, like, you know, fuck it if something's blocking it, you know? I'm right. not going to find out what it is. Just, you know, it could be a fucking little baby for all like, <laughs> yeah. you know? His motivation sound. I mean, that's the thing. I guess it sounds sound at the time. It's like, yeah. we're not going to blow up a $2,000 turbine. We're going to turn it off, you know? <laughs> we're not going to do it. Yeah, I mean, so it sounds like, okay, these aren't unreasonable things. It turns out, because we've seen the movie, we know that these are the bad, you know, but we have hindsight. We've seen the movie, we know that, like, the shit that happens happens because he makes these decisions. But at the I same mean, time, like, because when, uh, when the British dude was like, you know, we'll kill it, he's like, fuck yeah, that's going to make us some money. And then the lady's like, let's capture it, make more money. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still, like, kind of smiling at the dude, like, We'll still kill that shit for money. <laughs> <laughs> just in case, it's a backup plan. Yeah, well, I was always like, when the when the little thing was dying, I was always expecting the guy to jump in there, and cut his belly off, <laughs> and, <laughs> and be like, "Ha ha!" See, but we still even got him, it. right? Because I guess that's maybe like my expectation for these type to have of movies. A villain? Is, yeah. The, so then, okay, yeah, so it's yeah. going to be Fitzroy's, but even yeah. Fitzroy's is like, "I'm going to kill the shark." You know, we're going to cut it open on live TV. It's going to be great. And you're like, that's horrible. And, you know, Bess Armstrong's character has that point of view. But he's really not a bad guy either, you know? I mean, he's like, well, 
you know, we can do what she wants to do. We can, cause that's actually probably a better idea. He sees the, the, yeah. the possibility and, you know, right. uh, capturing the thing and actually having like a live great white shark right. in, uh, sea world. Yeah. If he sees the better idea, he goes with it. He's not like, you know, straight mind is like, no, this is what we're going to do. It's not the, does that make these characters complex? No. Okay. I'm not going to push that. <laughs> it is Jaws 3D that it's we're Jaws talking 3D. about. I just realized. Yeah, because he really was. I mean, he's the Quint character, right? Like, mm-hmm. I'll catch him, you know, the head, the head whatever. Yeah. Tail the whole damn thing. I'll That's interesting. Sure. So they have the Find mayor character, the basically mayor. the guy who's going to fill the. Another the sequel, man. <laughs> like, the sequel. The all they do is like, hmm, well, that guy, we got to have a guy like that. Yeah. Ugh. So the shark swims in through the open sea gate, kills a worker uh, whose body washes up later and, you know, basically. A cool 3D, like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, arm and bone sticking out. I did like the reaction to this guy. Like, like, you know, in in the first movie, you know, you lift up the sheet of the girl and they're just like... Uh, the victim is uh, can I have a glass of water please you know uh, <laughs> you're not Dennis, smoking here thank you very yeah, much you're not smoking here the Dennis Quaid and this is just like <laughs> oh god like he's just gonna like throw up on it and this is what happens <laughs> but then he knows he's just like it's a shark I know it yeah and then she of course before, like she's like close. yeah the baby, the butt. It's like, hold the fuck. She's just coming all. This is just off the top of her head. Like we captured a baby. The mother is still in the park. It's like we're right. talking about some damn sharks, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Get over right. here, Yaya. You could, you could figure it out. There are two sharks, but she puts a whole family lineage into this. Oh, shit. dude, she's oh, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. explanation. Wait, the mother is angry now. <laughs> it's like, how right. the fuck do you know this? Because Overman was killed inside the park. The, the baby, baby was, was born inside, inside the, the park. park. It it's mother the baby. is it's inside the park. park. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> and that, of course, sets up the big set piece scenes of the movie where mm. sh- the shark actually gets loose during an, oh, the opening day of SeaWorld. So you've got... But nobody's in... <laughs> Trouble. That's the only problem with this movie. Also, there's not like lots of people in the ocean, or not, like everybody's like on the stands. Like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Well, there's the ski in there. show. I know. There's, there's like four people in trouble. In trouble. Right. The bumper cars. <laughs> right. The bumper boat. Well, the people kinda, underwater. Yeah. Which that thing was not stable. Okay. The shark can hit See, it like once. But now this is well, the that's... best invention of the movie, I think. Or you know, for did you get something before well, this. I was or, just or gonna, gonna say that? that when Leah Thompson was on the <laughs> bumper. Oh, well, the reason I thought I was like, because it's like they set her up as one of these ski people, right? And it's like, oh, you're going to kill her on a bumper boat thing? What the fuck? Right. Like, we set her up as a ski, like, person. And like, she's a dancer, too. Apparently. Yeah, she's everything, right? What the everything. fuck was that? Dancing with a pig mask? I was like, oh, that's very SeaWorld. That's why I never wanted it's to go to SeaWorld as a kid, man. because I just, like, I, it looked like the most boring shit in the world. I'm like, I just get to sit there and We've watch got fish. We've no. got fish. Let's go back to Universal. I can actually ride the Jaws ride, Mom. <laughs> Thank oh, you. you don't want to see their slumped over torso fins? <laughs> no, I don't. No, oh, it's so depressing. sad. It's like, cute. I can't touch that thing. Give me oh, they're only going to be alive for half their lifespan. You don't want to. Well, Nick, you said that. you were yeah. at SeaWorld yeah, we recently. Were, I mean, is that still like a thing or since the whole what, Blackfish deal? Is it kind of like uh, taking the. the they're keeping oh, it quiet. The, their whole push when we were there just last uh, last April, I believe. Their whole push when we were watching the 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 orcas show, they still it, have them. Yeah, they still have them. Hmm. But it was all we take care of our orcas. Let me ask you a question. And, and Did uh-oh. they say their lifespan is thirty years? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I was too busy waiting for the kids to get splashed by freaking right. Shamu, Shamu yeah. and shit. Shamu but they Jr. gotta have like at least some. See, here's the thing. I guess that I at the time when I saw this movie, I didn't know this was fiction. God damn it. And found out there was. <laughs> but the movie says, and this is the credit to the writers, in Florida's Sea World, they have put a undersea kingdom. This like uh, complex uh oh, that's there's right. a rest uh, like a control room, a underwater restaurant called Neptune's whatever. Shit, it was Neptune's something. Neptune's Wake or something or uh... A fucking haunted house for some reason. I was like, that's what SeaWorld needs. Yeah, a haunted right. house? <laughs> These people had nothing. They like, what else is in With the sea animatronic uh, 3D the, octopus right, tentacles. The squid arm. <laughs> and then it's yeah. got like these An four eel. pressurized <laughs> viewing tunnels, which are these yeah. plexiglass tunnels that are in the talk about Jonas the, the whale. So this supposedly scientific like, like yeah, park is like, oh, well, here's a the, Bible uh, story. Right, yeah. like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you were incredulous at that point. Like, well, I guess it was the 80s. 
I'm like, why? What? It's like, I'm, you know, I'm not like a, you know, I don't hate the Bible, but I'm like, what? Like, These things don't like, go that's together. What teaching? Like, not science Jonas and the whale? whale? Like, this is how he survived. Like, what? That's not science. It's a fucking mythological tale. It's cool, though. You get to walk down the tunnel and I into guess the whale's mouth. If you're trying to make money off a of sea where you're like, anything, Neptune, whatever, yeah. like anything right. yeah, sea related. Yeah, they put a haunted house in there. I'm a haunted sure house. Like, I'm what? sure if you hit so Neptune's people like dining room, one of the other tunnels was probably the guy with the... Cthulhu's smoking yeah. lounge. Poseidon something yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They work it all in there. <laughs> but of course, when the big great white shark like slams into Deep. these tunnels, it floods with water and we have to save the people from save the uh, people yeah from being drowned yeah that's my problem is like people aren't in trouble from the shark what it is is the people are like a it's a it's a time game for the characters they're like we got people trapped in that tunnel we need to create a like a fix for the uh, pressure before the doors will unlock or whatever mm-hmm. Okay, well, first we have to get Jaws three into the pen. <laughs> <laughs> he's the third. Jaws the third. <clears throat> Wait, he's like the fourth though, because there's the baby shark, oh, which shit. they captured. Well, he'd be the no, he'd be the fourth. Wait, the Jaws the baby would be the fourth. Why this is, is still the Jaws fourth? the third. Well, cause, hello, it's the baby. Your son <laughs> wouldn't be. You wouldn't be junior. And your son, even though he shows up <laughs> in the movie first. But I'm, I'm going by like okay. what they have to deal with. All right, okay. and they have to deal with but the I'm baby. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So then it becomes like a dun 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 dun. dun, dun like we gotta like we have to. Uh, <laughs> what is it? You have to mold the. Uh, yeah, there's a patch basically. They're gonna put it's called on underwater the uh, seal. Yeah. Molding. 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 They're just there with clay. But then, of course, this you're like, work. you know, oh my god, the shark got loose and can swim backwards. Can sharks swim back? No, we no. Need to do this. <laughs> well, the idea of the movie, okay, this is where I'm, I'm going to defend the movie, even uh-huh. though you can't because it's scientifically impossible. But <laughs> the idea that the big shark, we're going to have to go back and explain what happened to the little shark. But the uh, big yeah, shark, we, we do. Yeah. It swims into a filtration pipe where the fresh salt water is being blown at it yeah. so fast that it doesn't actually have. It's like. It's just sitting in there, it's like hanging out. Yeah. It's like, hey, I can just sit here, and it feels like I'm swimming because mm-hmm. all the water's going through yes. my mouth and out my gills, and I don't have to move. It's the laziest fucking big great white shark <laughs> yes. in the world. Did I mention that it's thirty five foot long? Thirty five. It's at least long. ten feet longer than Jaws and Jaws two with a yard. Uh, a yard draws. bite radius. Yeah, bite radius. Thank yeah. you. But yeah, back to the baby shark because we kind of bypassed. Right, the we're thing. coming back to this. Like. At first, they're terrorized by a smaller shark. Like they a, don't know that. We just no, know they don't. Yeah, we don't three. know. Yeah, we don't know it was the baby shark that did any of the killing. No, at no, the no, beginning. no, no, because no, the big shark is what killed the the dude. Like mama shark killed the guy who went down to check the gate. Yep. Because yep. of the bite radius. Yep. No, we just know that they're like they are uh, when they go down to check the ship because they're looking for the guy yeah. who disappeared. Who, yeah, so there's the a gate. ship in here, like and it's so a fucking Dennis, aquarium. Mike and Kay is her name, the right? Spanish galley and Kathy. Kathy? But they call her Kay, right? And there's like yeah, fake Kay. bones in there, like people would see that <laughs> right. shit. It's like, that's for the it's fish? An attra- it's an attraction. What? Well, but who's attraction. swimming and seeing that? Well, who would see that? When you're in the underwater, water, you'd see like a skeleton tank. <laughs> but no one said that people are scuba diving in that. <laughs> they not. just said, exactly. So who would, would see, see the, the see pirate skeletons <laughs> inside the ship? It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. I'm sorry. I just thought that was insane. Like, so the people that made this movie think that we would treat this like a giant aquarium. <laughs> it's like, where's the castle? <laughs> yeah. no, one, no one has the coral castle. Oh. I'm sure that wasn't there either, was it? Because at the beginning, we got to go back, but they did have like a little miniature map. They did. And they had the Spanish galleon. They mentioned it. They well, did. Sunken Spanish well, galleon. We talked Jonas about Marine how Funhouse. Every movie, something, something. every movie that involves underwater adventure always has to have the sunken ship that well, you investigate. Yeah, the sure. ship like a fucking adventure the uh i oh, mean yeah. every movie has the little mermaid yeah little mermaid just any movie, movie. Ever any movie made. underwater uh, there's more well, cartoons underwater say, okay. apparently i guess you can't do uh goonies because that's above water no, but, it's 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 shit. but it's fucking retarded in this movie it's just <laughs> ridiculous this is like a sunken ship with pirate skeletons in it yeah. All right. It's fun. It's a stretch. But yeah, that leads fun. to an amazingly fun chasing, exciting chasing. No, chasing. That was not exciting. Between a great white <laughs> shark and two dolphins who are like our, our what are seventh and eighth characters. Cindy and Sally or something. Cindy, Cindy and Sandy. I don't Cindy know. Cindy and Sandy. 
But that did not work out. I'm sorry. It did not work. <laughs> Dude, I saw the editing. I saw what they were trying to do. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can see the storyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck, it didn't work. No. A lot of like quick, quick cutting well, to just make shooting, it look yeah. like. They're shooting a real, at this point, a real yeah. great white shark no, like, swimming around doing its thing. And well, they got footage. Yeah, they got yeah, footage. Yeah, yeah, stock footage or something. Yeah. Yeah. And but they're trying to marry the two together. But they even try to do like a. Chase scene. The woman falls off of the dolphin, and, and the she's like, like, oh, right no, there. and then the dolphin swoops in. I was I like, figured, oh, fuck it, how stupid. I figured they were shooting that wide shot first, and they're like, she fell off. What do we do now? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. think? Uh, I don't think so. It's go, supposed, go. To, be, even even that that was supposed to be a chase The shark scene. was like two inches behind right. her, and it's all like, of a sudden yeah. the dolphin It's like, oh, she's dead. Her. Yeah. Yeah, that's my problem with Jaws 3. It I mean, doesn't she build any. She's going to grab onto the great white shark. Right, just grab that and ride that. I don't think it does that? build tension. Like, they try, but I don't think... It's just like this... So the only way to build tension in this movie is the for music. the shark to move really slowly behind them and have them do a bunch of shit because they're moving really slowly because of all the water. You know, it's just like... Well, oh, it's just the, it's the idea... I mean, I guess what the, the Jaws or I your slasher it. movie functions on is that we're, we have a killer... It's the inevitable. Threat. Yeah, and it's, it's out there. Here. Yeah. It's out there and some it's gonna strike. And then it just comes to the clouds. Jason's out and there. And yells at you, apparently. Because it did kind of yell. <laughs> just like, yeah, there's the bubbles that roars. are expelled. It, goes, it roars. Rah. It's not yelling. It's roaring. It roars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's Jaws of Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost exactly Jaws of Revenge. Yeah. But I want to talk about how fucking actually stupid and cheesy. Because, okay, I've watched Godzilla movies my whole life, right? And I, don't, I, I was actually going to ask you, Colin, if, if this was something to do with the 3D camera effects with, like, a kind of a blue screen, like a green screen. Because yeah. it's like, this looks worse than any... I mean, this is 1983, yeah. and it looks worse than any of the 60s Godzilla shit. Like, all the stuff underwater. Yeah. And I'm like, I wonder, if, is, is this just too... Uh, is this miniatures and green screening not being able to to like match up with the three D? They can't blend the elements. Travis, you are in luck because oh, I sure. read a goddamn magazine on this did, thing dude. called <laughs> Cine Fantastic. Cine Fantastic. Q U E. So Don't forget. yeah, this was one of the first movies to use green screen. Everything used blue screen prior to this. This was the oh, first no one to use green screen. Green screen apparently works better in electronic. Composites. Wait a second, I think Superman the movie used <clears throat> green and blue. Anyway, well. Yeah, it was. Sorry. They said uh, it was for, for a whole electronic compositing as opposed to photochemical compositing. Mm. Green works better; it's easier to key out or something like that. Yeah. So, and there was because it's a major studio movie. That means that you only have so much time to complete your <laughs> your effects, and it's like we got to have it out because we said June twenty second. God damn it, it's coming yeah, out. It's always a release date. <clears throat> so they said what they would do is they would shoot a lot of the uh, underwater stuff is actually shot in a smoke room. It's not underwater. It's shot in a room full of smoke, and that looks like hmm. underwater. I guess <laughs> then they they would composite like bubbles in the foreground. You know, and it's like you put the layers together. Boom, you're underwater. Um, kind of. But they would try to do <laughs> because this was like a thing where they're, you know, experimenting with 3D, like 3D mm. composites. I think maybe for the first time in history, right. it's like, okay, we got to set this one up so it's convergence, you know, is like its depth is back here. There's going to be like the live action people walking through the tunnel. Then you have like the tunnel, then you have the coral, then you've got the bubbles and all this other shit. Jeez. There's another thing that explains kind of why the the resolution of the movie isn't as good as it could be. This is a technical aside for how 3D worked in 1983, but they came up with a system where you could shoot 3D with one camera. They put an adapter oh. on the front of the camera, and it would split the image That's into an upper lens. and a lower, yeah, so left eye top, right eye bottom kind of thing. And you could play it back then on any projector with another adapter, and so this would save on film stock. So sure. they were like, we're shooting with that. But the, the result of this is, in a 35-millimeter frame, you're actually exposing the only, like, half of it, mm. right? The mm. half of right. it's, like, the left eye, whatever. And the other half of it's the right eye. So when you put them together, you see a full image, but it's only half the resolution of a regular movie. Mm. This cuts down on your 
I think graphical fidelity sure, and all because you're like, greeniness. yeah, you're like, this is a Blu-ray, and I expected it to look a lot better. Oh, I thought than it was gonna look great, <laughs> man. Yeah, some of it did look. Like, it's always. I mean, I've been watching it on shitty DVDs and television oh, it's tapes. It's horrible. I've been watching it on tapes for my whole life, so this looked far better than anything I've seen yeah, it before. It's very sharp, but it's very, very sharp. grainy. Oh, there dude. is grainy. Yeah. Oh, because I yeah. still gotta say, like, in of all of movie history, Jaws three to me is one of the worst looking fucking movies in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just <laughs> it's very flat. It's just like, and there's not a lot going on in the background. I don't know if, like, oh, well, fuck, this is SeaWorld. It's not like they can make a set or something to really make things interesting. They just kind of use what they had, I guess. Mm. And that just, yeah, there's, like, nothing going on mm. in the background of the whole movie. Very, like, I mean, a lot of the, I mean, this, for a 3D movie, it does have, like, I'll say, mm, four to five, like, really freaking, like, really, like, like the 3D, 3D shots that stick out there. The fish at the beginning, the, the floating title. arm. The titles were yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, the titles the were titles, really great. I swear to God, even on the home video version, seem like they're about a foot away from, <laughs> an arm's length or less, <laughs> yeah. away from your face. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, like the depth in this movie, and this is why I keep going back to the this era 3D stuff, is like because it blows away like anything that they're doing today right. as far as the depth. And, and that's the fun out. stuff. Well, because yeah. they, yeah. they weren't, they're not afraid of being hokey today. They, no right. no yeah. director wants to be hokey. They still want to make their movie, but like, okay, if you want to make an extra five bucks a ticket, fuck it. Uh, you know, we can <laughs> right. you know, post. Yeah. But Whatever. these ones are like, we're actually shooting in 3D. This is how yeah. it's going to be seen. Right. Let's poke they, them in the face. I don't think they had mm-hmm. the idea of a home video release in 1983. Right? Mm-hmm. right? Or it was like very new. I mean, yeah. it was still yeah. there, but they're like, this could die. Yeah. Right? You know? And you can't do this on, on TV. But that's why when you watch this, so like we've all probably grown oh, up with this movie in mm-hmm. 2D where you're like, mm. Why are they hanging on this shot of this arm, you know, severed right. arm? Or why are they hanging on, why are they zooming yeah. right up and into, yeah. you know, like this crab or this, uh, you know, yeah. the, the tentacle or whatever. And now when you see it in 3D, it's like, holy shit, it was actually meant to be shot that those way. Those are like very sharp. I mean, those are very like, I mean, they're, cause they're small and it's almost like. With it's, crabs? Well, yeah, the the because there's the shot of the well, of the, it's almost like split the crab. into two different three D. Well, there's always like some long thing right, right. in the center. Mm-hmm. So when it comes up, you really have to kind of go cross eyed to look at it yeah. in, in its three D self, yeah. you know, because it's so just so yeah. pinpointed. Right. Or yeah. It's so there's, close to your face. I think you're like you're yeah. trying to focus. It's on so it dead like, on. It it's is. not yeah. at like an some angle of them come too or close. nothing. Like, right. But I like that, you know, because uh-huh. it's not like. You know, nowadays they'd have the background out of focus, and you're like, okay, well, this would be 3D if the background was, uh, you know, was in focus, mm-hmm. you know. So at least this does it, even though it's a little hard for the eye to see. A little bit yeah. sometimes, well, but is, still, it's fun. What, it gives you enough time to focus right. yeah. your eye on it, if, and it gives you. This is what I like about the old 3D. It gives you the option. You can look at it, or you can look somewhere else. You don't need to, if it hurts your eyes to like try to like, you know. The rest of the screen's not out of focus. You can at least look somewhere else, yeah. or you know, it's not going to ruin. Well, the, the shot. idea of crossing your eyes that led to eye strain on the part of audiences. This is the thing that oh, killed shit. off eighties three D. Is like they're just like I go in and I get headaches. Well, I mean, some of it would be Dude. too if the if the lens wasn't adjusted right. Yeah, people you know, that don't have the fun. orientation would be off, and that would <laughs> create headaches and eye strains. Uh, Space Hunter is notorious for like <laughs> awesome. it was notorious. shot with the incorrect uh, uh, convergence really? depth. Really? For, so that a lot of shots have the characters out in front of the screen instead of falling behind the screen, Funny. that kind of thing. <laughs> and so that would give headaches to people. So they're just ah, 3D, like it hurts, you know. Either I don't it's see it or it does. Hurts. But now it's like you got Blu ray and they've cleaned all this shit up. And like now it looks better now than it did in theaters then. You yeah. Know? Like, this is the way to actually see these movies. And if you've been watching them the whole time, you know, through the years in 2D, and you're like, this sucks because they're just poking shit at you. You know, this, <laughs> in 3D, it's like, holy fuck, look at that, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, now that yep. it's actually coming out and whoosh, hitting you upside the head. Yeah. Right. So, 3D sharks. I mean, so of course, I mean, every goddamn Jaws movie needs you to blow up a shark at the end. <laughs> There's like no other way to, you want to know the real way to take out a shark? This is God's honest truth. You punch it in the nose. No, that's, uh, yeah, I've heard that. But you I'm yell sure at it. That's if water. you're like halfway you in its your, mouth. You, you just dig like, your fingers in his gills. Oh, yeah. That will like either fucking freak it out or suffocate it or whatever. You want to just fucking, 
I just started clawing at I hope the you're side. listening you, to you, this. You have to get you past the jaws first. <laughs> well, <laughs> it might let, but it, hopefully it won't let go. It, it's almost like sticking your finger up the butt of a dog. It should, like, it should yeah, unlock don't punch its jaws in the face. and be like, huh? <laughs> uh, for more information on how to fight a shark, go back and listen to our zombie podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, that's... I think it's a pretty in depth <laughs> of how you should handle that Was situation. I part of that? I'm not sure. No, no, you had to have been. Maybe I'm not sure. Sometimes no. I miss. The zombie fight, fights a shark. I know. Sometimes no, I miss. One of the, like, best, Dave most, like, one of the best scenes. <laughs> movies. Oh. Yeah, so at the end of the movie, uh, well, wait, where have we left here? So really they, they, like the baby shark they do capture the baby shark through a process of uh, shooting it with a 3D harpoon. And, uh, it's like, no way we're still talking about the baby no, shark. No, we haven't explained the baby <laughs> shark, then we're jumping ahead. But they capture the baby shark. They put it on display, and the fucking baby shark dies. And that's how we yes. find out that there's a... Because you're like, wait, the fucking movie's over. That's You killed the shark. No, no, mother shark. Boom. Fake so, out. Big shark. It's a Jason's mom shark. Yeah. <laughs> People stuck in the tube. And it's so they got to trap the shark, fix the tube. Let the people out, yep. and then kill the shark. And unfortunately, Simon McCorkendale, the great white hunter, his, uh, or sorry, Fitzroy. That was a great, that scene was shot awesome. Like, that's the scene I've, like, that's the only unique the scene. Yeah, around. the oh, shot inside, inside the, shark. the shark. That's the only unique yeah. scene that this movie offers that I don't think any other Jaws movies no. does. Not in even 3D, four, right? Even, no, not, not even nine. four. No. That's why I was like, dude, he needs to fucking take a knife out and fucking plunge it into the tongue or the cheek. And like come out at the end of this fucking movie, man. That'd be awesome. That'd be so tits. Like he lives like inside Sharknado. that shark for yeah. forty minutes. Where, where they just yeah. cut him open and he comes like, hey or guys, like, right? I could imagine out. that. Like I would do any. I'd be like spread fucking right. eagle. Yeah. Like no, no. Well, I'm still trying to work out how the logistics of how this happened. But somehow he's outside the shark one moment. The shark catches his fin on its That's tooth, right. and then suddenly he is full body and still alive. Inside the mouth, the shark of the is shark. so big that he just gets in there. Yeah, he gets sucked it, in. The but water, you're not getting, it's, it's the water. It's that oh, yeah, shit. Like the that. water pushed him in. You're right. Right. Oh yeah, because he's, he's in the filtration. The filtration yeah, unit is still going. That's a good one. Wow. Go. Well, well no, science. I was thinking when uh, well, I'm true. thinking of something larger opens its mouth, the water is sucking mm, in, right. so it's still like Which a flow. It it's a that's like what you never know about the danger of water is the uh, the. The uh, how the, yeah exactly the current. <laughs> well, this but he gets off. crushed to death in the jaws of jaws. Yeah, yeah it's still like that. You're supposed to assume to death. that he has. Uh, Maybe he doesn't grenade. get bitten. An underwater I don't think he gets grenade. Yeah, he's like holding on to it. He was just about to pull the pin and then. <laughs> yeah, probably crushed. like crushed his lungs. I would guess and that's so. where there's all a, the blood came from yeah, out of his mouth or like something. Comes out and it looks internal. like shark chewing because in this shark in this in the shark in this movie. Pardon me. In the previous shark Jaws puppet. movies, they employed a mechanical shark, right? Yes. This movie, because, and this track. is the distinction from the other two Jaws movies, because it takes place in SeaWorld, we spend a lot of time underwater, like deep underwater, where mm-hmm. you have to actually have like a full shark puppet thing. What? I don't know. So that kind of, the yeah. big one. I mean, some of it's real photography. Shot from a lot. Yeah, flapping its tail. There's a big yeah. mechanical shark. Well, it's front, you know, they show that a lot off right. also. And then there's like the smaller puppet one, I think, that you see like in the long shots swimming away from the camera. There was, I swear to God, that one shot when the shark goes into the control room that had to have been stop motion. It looked stop motion. It felt yeah. like it. Just it the tail. Yeah. Like, right, going in Very acclimation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that it, had that, it had that stutter. It did. Mm-hmm. I would say so. Smoke Which I can't room necessarily fault and, it for. Uh, what do you call that uh, dappled uh, light thing that you put over a lens? It makes it look like, ooh, there's waves or water uh, pattern. Yeah. But it's actually like shot in uh, indoors, not in a tank. But I do, right. my, I, I'm going to keep coming back to like how I do love how, and this is another one of the things like why this is confusing of who these characters are because it doesn't seem like Michael and Sean or whoever, do, they, they just don't seem to be characters because... That the 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 female uh, scientist she does take like such a proactive like um, attitude towards that you know she puts on the wetsuit like I'm going out there yeah. you know no god damn it you know where you got that scene yeah. 
But I just like that character. I don't. I like that character. I like her because it was. She didn't. It wasn't played off as like what a strong female character. It was just a strong female character. I'm like, I was like, <laughs> right. oh, fuck, I like this. It's just written really good. You really like this girl. She's yeah. very supportive of a dude getting a job elsewhere, even though it breaks her heart. She's a very strong person. She's very she, good at her job. She very. She understands things. She's she's not weepy about everything in the world. You know, she knows she has a job to do. She fucking does it. I like that one scene where she's like, hey, what did we say? You build it. I like I I I go in the water. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, Yeah, I love those couple. I love that couple. It's the only good thing I got to say. (laughs) So then, of course, they're like, I know we'll find a fucking hook. That's like right. That's like 10 foot long. It's like I got those at my shop. (laughs) Because <laughs> we need like hooks that are ten foot long. Well, it's like where did they find that? Yeah, the shark does crash in astounding. That was room. a cool scene because you knew it was coming into the the plate in slow motion. Window. Yeah, slow motion. And they had that probably thirteenth like slow down of time, like. Yeah, I remember that was the centerpiece of the advertising. That could have been a little bit more like on center or a little quicker. Why was it so fucking slow? I I get it. It's like it's coming, but then it should have just sped up and like (laughs) did like the Friday part, like the logo. Yeah, yeah, but that should have worked. It was all right, but they find the big (laughs) pole and they detonate the. Okay, so yeah, they loop it. Directly yeah. in the <laughs> pin <laughs> and pull it. Good music. And at the end of the movie, so not not we worry John about Williams. where dolphins are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So right. Okay. So this, <laughs> this is where. Okay. Because fuck your brother. Movie, where's Sam? Where's Leah Thompson? I where's don't know that? if you caught this in the opening credits, but this movie has a screenplay credit to Richard Matheson. Richard Matheson, who wrote a lot of Twilight Zones, right? Who wrote uh, Legend of Hell House, which you probably listened to on this uh, yeah. podcast, of course. Uh, a lot of Twilight Zones. Um, he also did the I Am Legend, the story. I mean, like the guy oh, is, yeah. I think, an underrated shaper of 20th century Could be. horror. You know, I think we, you know, go back to our Legend of Hell House mm. uh, episode for that. But he apparently hates this movie. He <laughs> said he wrote the movie. And then a, g- a guy named Gordon Trueblood and Carl Gottlieb, who wrote, who wrote uh, every first other two Jaws, Jaws movie, movies, yeah. like reshaped it. <clears throat> Did you know, trivia, uh, in development, when they were trying to make a Jaws sequel, some smartass at Universal Pictures thought that the Jaws sequel should be called Jaws 3, People 0. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> oh, my God, that's awesome. Uh, True know. story. Yeah, I'd buy that's that. Oh, awesome. yeah, I Jaws like that. 3, people yeah. 0. Yeah. Holy fuck, yeah. that's great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they didn't Even do though that. I don't think this should have ever been sequelized. <laughs> this, is, this is a one and done movie. I mean, well, the, the problem, right? With well, the, I know the problem. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I think this is my biggest problem with the movie is that instead of, like, if you were going to remake this movie, you would put Sean and uh, what was Leah Thompson's name? Michael? No, the girl, Leah Thompson, uh, whatever. Yeah. The, the, Leah Thompson's Leah, character. Yeah. You would put them in the the tunnel. Yeah. Right? Right. And they the yeah. shark attack the tunnel. They're gonna drown. We have to get them out. But for some fucking reason, which I can't to this day understand, I guess you need to have somebody who becomes a victim of a shark attack. So she gets bit in the leg. Yeah. And so Sean has to pack her up into the ambulance. And right away, like with twenty minutes left to go in the fucking movie, yeah, so sucks. that leaves your emotional payoff. And all to they the did movie. was joke around and play around the whole movie. Like this is what I didn't like. This is how they try to be the Friday Thirteenth. They try to just like act like they're kids at a beach, mm-hmm. but it's like, what the fuck is going on? Here? All those scenes were fun, Trent. Oh yeah. god, a little crab so ass great. never killed anybody. Playing exactly. hide and go. We're fucking thirty five <laughs> playing hide and go seek. You know, the guy's like, I almost fucked in the water, <laughs> and then you <laughs> cut blocked me. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, that's, that's the stuff of drama. Yeah, Light-hearted yeah, drama. drama. The whole movie has Friday a kind of a do light Do you not have fun anymore, Travis? Do you not it, plan? Do you not, not frolic dude, on the beach John, with your brother in your underwear? Dude, Jaws is like... It's not like, okay, not. what if Godfather 3 was as shitty as... Well... Hold on. Hey, wait, 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 wait a second. Let me rethink this <laughs> analogy. I'm just this. saying it in three. I'm just saying that, like, I mean, ah, fuck. I'll say it for me. <laughs> like, it, you just can't take, like, a brilliant movie and make it a slasher movie. Dude, Jaws isn't a slasher movie. You can't turn it into a slasher movie. Well, it shouldn't be. 
Fucking no. That's why no one watches Jaws two through four. It shouldn't be a slasher. Just, yeah, I know you do. Give a fuck. They just put watch it on Critters Blu-ray. Boom. Three. I There's, know. There are devotees of this movie. I'm just saying. And uh, the series. It's three D. I get it. No, but even Jaws two, I think, is a, has a bigger following. But than, I, than this. me I is my so. own personal reviewer. I just have to be like, you know, fuck this. There's no reason. <laughs> There's just no reason for it. I've, I, this is the first time I've seen it in 3D, and I've watched it probably a hundred times, probably, yep. you know, through my lifetime. Yep. <laughs> I just don't even think you should. Uh, like I said earlier, it'd be like if Rocky turned into a slasher movie. You're like, why is this a slasher movie all of a sudden? <laughs> they took, why does like, he have a the, knife in the ring? It's weird. I get no, why he they, waits till I, it's night. And then he <laughs> fucking boxes. Well, I kind of get why you would do That's it. That's how because... he kills people. He's wandering in the streets, punching <laughs> yeah. them in the face. This is a movie? Can we do it? This is it's, a movie. it's Rocky and night, the night. The punch uh, killer. Night fighter. The night boxer. Like yeah, yeah. The night yeah. boxer. The night Boxer. I get why they do it because, like, that's if you're gonna have people in peril and a shark or some kind of you know underwater, it's like that's naturally, I think, how it goes that you lay out your story. But I don't think yeah. it's, I mean, I agree with you, I don't think it's the most creative way. And I think that's why you kind of have like well, a series of diminishing returns as you go on these type of movies. Well, what was scary about Jaws, and it was the same almost the same thing I was talking about when we were talking about uh, Guyver 2, like, why the scene scenes in the daytime are so effective for me when when a monster can strike in the daytime that's way more scarier just because you're so psychologically told oh it's what you don't see at night blah, blah, blah. so the power of jaws was the fact that it's sunny or at the beach it's a nice day yeah. and i just think that this movie just takes all that away because every scene tries to be nighttime <laughs> it's like it's at nighttime in the in the park, it's just like fucking shit. These people don't know what's scary about being attacked in the water in, in the first place. Even though I, I am like personally more scared of a like fuck. I'll be scared of a pool at night. It was like I can't see what's in that pool. I don't know what the fuck's in there. Somebody, man, put something a fucking in that pool. giant alligator. You ever seen that movie? Oh, no. Geez. There's a Eating scene alive. In there. Is it just an I, alligator in a pool? There's an alligator. Creeps into a giant a giant alligator. Is that right? Eating Alive? Get, no, it's uh, alligator. Alligator. Gets into a pool. These kids come out, and I don't. I can't remember what the. I haven't seen this in years, but I just it scared the shit out of me because the lights are off in the pool. They don't know that it's there. Kid gets up Uh, on the diving board, jumps in. The other kid turns the light on. There's a fucking giant alligator. It swallows the kid. Holds him. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Does it does it it jump into its mouth? Yeah. Where the fuck? I would. That's what I was hoping. Like where the fuck was a 35 foot great white hiding during the day? In a park. It was in, in the park the whole time. But it was in the filtration pipe. It was in the filtration pipe. It was in the filtration Just, I that's guess. That's where it was I guess that. You guys got all the, uh, <laughs> the, uh. We got all the details the, down. Yeah, man. the dial, the, uh. It's in the filtration pipe. Yep. With the Shut water the being down. shoved through its mouth. Yeah, dude, I guess that ain't. I, mean, I, I quit listening to what people were saying at some point. <laughs> I don't think through this podcast we've celebrated, uh, uh, what's his name? Louis Gossett Jr. Enough. Oh, the yeah. star of Enemy Mine. Enemy Mine. The Oscar oh, winner for uh, <laughs> Oscar winner. The Oscar winner for uh, Officer, Officer and Gentleman. Gentleman. Officer Gentleman yeah. The star of Roots. The star of Iron. The star Eagle. of what? Roots. 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 Iron Eagle. Yes, like you said. Yes. Roots. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little cool to Iron Gusset. But he He's a good actor. <laughs> right, I've always well, liked him. He was nominated. This movie was nominated for five Razzie Awards. Oh, including for a second I thought you were going to say Academy Awards. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I was going to like kidding? flip out. No, the Dolphins, who provide the emotional payoff at the end, <laughs> were nominated <laughs> for worst debut or worst couple or something like that. But uh, uh, Lou Gossett Jr. Oh, was nominated as worst actor. And I'm like, you've well, got to be on he's crack. He's not that bad. Oh, no. He's super intense, sells everything that he's yeah, says, everything he says yeah, like, smiles he, very he, sinisterly. I felt he tried to be too uber black in this movie. I think oh, that's Louis Gossett. I thought that was awesome though, because you always hear guy. about he's from New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge. I don't know. I just well, he said, like, said yeah, yeah. He's like, Bouchard. Bouchard him. You him? My name is right. Bouchard. We're gonna yeah. shut the pumps down. We're gonna suffocate the fish. Listen here, nephew. Yeah, yeah I liked him. I liked him in this him. movie. I mean. I don't. Th- I've never. I mean, I make fun of Louis Gossett, but I've never seen him in a Don't bad know. role. I've never seen him do bad. He never. Right? I've never seen him ham it up. I've never seen him like completely just like do like a robotic uh, performance. He always seems very natural. What was that? Fuck it. Not I've that the seen... characters he plays are so fucking interesting, right. but still, no, I he feel does bad unbelievably for the guy because I've Why? seen a picture of Lately. him in some type of Egyptian headdress uh, and all that it up, and it's some like 
crappy 90s era horror movie. I don't remember what it was, but I was just like, Blue Gossett Jr. He well, won what the happened, Oscar. But he always for, did uh, shit. Winning the Oscar is not like you can win yeah, an Oscar once and still have a shitty yeah, career. Yeah, dude, he's always. I mean, this is uh, uh, Nick Nick after. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah they can all. you gotta do is do one good performance to win an Oscar and still have a really bad career. Yeah, yeah. fucking Shirley Temple won a fuck. <laughs> Times are different. Yeah, so, so, well, come on. I mean, but that's basically it, right? They blow the shark up yeah. and three D fucking jaws, like literally the come bones, out. Right. come spinning out into the audience. Oh. <clears throat> There's nothing, nothing, nothing better than that. Folks. Nope. Nothing. Can't so be, uh, that, more than that. And were we done with Jaws three? I'm done with this. Else? I think that does it for Stray Jaws three. Observations. Adios. Igor, bring us the mail, sir. Igor, masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Okay. Thank you, Igor. Nice hat, Igor. I like your hat. Uh, it's a new one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty go. Been a while since I've seen him, but yeah. He doesn't okay. like people to talk about his hair. Apparently not. He's quick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tra- he left a trail of slime yeah. though behind. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> watch your watch your step on the way out. I don't think he I've likes never, uh, fish movies. <laughs> I think that's his <laughs> only fear. Like Is that why he was out of here quick? He's like, well, oh, he always no. refuses to bathe, so yeah, he smells I'm, like uh, fish. True. Anything with water he does not like. Yeah. All right, so uh, if you want to write into us, this is Igor's mailbag. He brings us the mail. If you want to talk to us, and we encourage that you do, we want you to be part of the Freak Show family. You can write to us on Facebook or at Saturday Night Freak Show at Facebook, or sorry, slash fa- Facebook.com <laughs> slash Saturday Night Freak Show. There we go. And we're also on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. And you can get a hold of us, email Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com. Uh, tonight, Holly writes in. Oh. And we're saying, where is Holly tonight? Well, Holly <laughs> had her wisdom teeth removed and was going to show the movie Legend. I know some of you were uh, thinking that you were going to be hearing so she that. she had her jaws removed. Her. But now we have to skip her, so Legend is probably coming, unfortunately. In a month. Three, four weeks Two down weeks. the line. Sorry. Um, Sorry. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wrap so up from beyond the pod. Holly says, sorry, I won't be there, guys. Turns out it's hard to talk with a painfully swollen face. I'm not but surprised. Enjoy yeah, Jaws 3D and have a good laugh at Dennis Quaid's hysterical freak out when he steals the popcorn cart and then crashes, crashes it on <laughs> nothing. <laughs> he uh, does. He does. She says she'll be wearing her Amity Island shirt in solidarity while she ices her face and will see us in a week. Yeah, I forgot I was going to mention about that, how like. Yeah, there was just like he just crashes it, and then there's like <laughs> other like little like and they look like like children type They're carts, whales, and he's just like, oh my solos. god! There's just like all this <laughs> chaos going on that he can't like make it to wherever the fuck it he's is, going. and it's that's so what's stupid. When, from a very young age that stood out to me as something like, what's going on? I don't understand why Dennis Quaid is freaking out. Does oh, he yeah, just know how to ride a bike? Water. <laughs> Get out of the water! Like, not even, no, just the part where he like almost oh, yeah, hits yeah, kids yeah, yeah. and then crashes yeah. like that they, scene. They make it seem like it's an obstacle when it's like. Right, it just seems like you fall over. Oh my god, he can't get there. Like when you're trying to run through a crowd, and all of a sudden there's a bunch of people there holding you back. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. There's only ten people holding me back. I can't oh, get through it. Where like, they I can't hours. walk around them. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Oh my god. Uh, Brian Perry writes in and says, Hello, uh, "I only remember the blatant harpoon 3D gag from this movie. Yes. Back when they let you know a 3D moment was coming." Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. that was definitely mm-hmm. Friday Thirteenth style 13, yeah. harpoon. Yeah. It's the same shot. It's the, the needle same almost shot. is the needle. It's the same shot when they're getting the needle ready for the 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 knockout juice for the. the oh, shot. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're just yeah, yeah. injecting and like spraying it at the camera. But that shot where he shoots the harpoon, mm-hmm. like that's the, they do the exact same shot in Friday the Thirteenth Part yep. Three. Mm-hmm. You no know one else they do in Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Same fucking tagline on the poster. The third dimension is terror. Oh, shit. Wow. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, Just ripped it right off. That's crazy. Uh, And, uh, okay, so I explained on Twitter that Holly was having her wisdom teeth yanked, so that's why we wouldn't be doing uh, Legend. And DC on Twitter, is that you, Dom? Is that you, Dom Creek? Oh, Dom. Says, uh, that sounds less... Slightly less painful than watching the movie itself. Ha! Ah, that's funny. Zing. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> All right, wait. Do you hear that? Do you hear those bells? Uh-oh. That means it must be time for wrap-ups. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. 
The hour has come, sirs. Thank you, right. Lurch. I appreciate it. Lurch, Lurch. 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 Yeah, don't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't yeah. like that. First, his first name's time. Lurch. He came with the place, right? He doesn't. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he, we're not. He's been here a long sure. time. We're first we're, time running into that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's been here longer than us, so we're still trying to kind of. We told him to leave a week ago. He's still here. I don't. I don't, he's not going to leave, he dude. He's, he not he's leave? been here longer than the foundation itself. I yeah. think uh, Lurk is here to stay. All right, so we're going to begin uh, wrap-ups with uh, Travis. What do you think of Jaws I hate this 3D? movie. <laughs> <laughs> I've always hated this movie. I mean, I've never... If, I can like a 3D movie in its really shitty 2D state. If it's a good movie, right? And I'm just from the get go, this movie's always never just ever did anything for me. I always feel like um, not having really recognizable characters from. I mean, even though they're supposed to be the same characters from the other, they just don't feel like it. The movie doesn't link you into it. It doesn't like. So I just feel like it drops you with a bunch of strangers at SeaWorld. I feel like it's an advertisement for SeaWorld more than it's a movie. And I'm surprised, like, I don't think there might have not been a Shamu at SeaWorld by the time, or else this movie had to have. It feels like there was. Like, it feels like I knew about Shamu. But it would have mentioned it. Because by the 90s, there was already Shamu 2 or something, you know, because they fucking die off so quickly in captivity. (laughs) 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 But, uh. (laughs) You're right? Yeah. 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 Uh, But I just. uh, This movie doesn't even do. I mean, the first movie only has the girl killed at the beginning, the leg severed in the shallow, like, boating part. Alex Kittner. Uh, Kittner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but so there's still, there, you know, but this movie, like. Oh, well, Ben, Ben Gardner. That's and ben the Gardner's two guys with yeah. their. Turkey. What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, the turkey. Well, I'm just saying there's die. not a lot. There's just not a lot <laughs> of a death in Jaws, the original. And this fucking only really has, what, three deaths, really? It kills the nephew. No, the yeah. two boater kills, guys. It kills the two boater guys. Oh, yeah. Those, those, guys. Are, those are the reshoot. Well, that's your Friday the 13th <laughs> That's the one. Really like, is. The like nothing the happens yeah. in this really movie really except for a, people. Just a shitty flat we death. We need 3D like, oh. shit. No and one's running. Like, this movie like, is just running around SeaWorld. There's like nothing fucking happens in this movie. There's a lot of like, oh, my God, we got to fix a gate. Uh, we got it. It's just like, oh my god, there's just like boring shit to do at SeaWorld. This is like, there's not like a killer shark or whatever. It's just, um, so yeah, I don't, I've never cared for this movie. I don't care for any Jaws sequel. Jaws 1 is fucking brilliant. It's one of those like, oh my god, this is, I mean, the book, it's the book and the movie are both fucking brilliant. There's They're just really no, good. there's no sequelizing the story the same way most horror movies. There's no sequelizing, yet they do. They realize that after part four. Well, they well, it's just like no one's fucking buying it. They don't. They realize it forever ago. They they just as soon as the money dries up, they're like fuck. But thank God it served an awesome punchline back to the future too. Oh, I can't wait for the remake. No, <laughs> there's no. gonna be a Joss remake, whether not you like it or not. Folks. Alive. Bullshit. That's bull. There's going. It to was be. called Dante's Peak. Oh. It's, oh my God. Well, they substituted a volcano. No, it's the trust fucking me. story of Jaws. Dante's Peak isn't sellable. Jaws. <laughs> oh man, bankable. Yep. So, fuck this movie. <laughs> I just don't like this. There's it's no nice movies to, untouchable now. I, I, it's nice to see 3D movies, though. I mean, mm-hmm. I'll say that. It's nice to see 3D movies just how they were originally intended, if not better. Um, just because whatever, it's a little slice of history that yeah. you won't ever get to experience in a theater or, you know, whatever. So enjoy it while you can. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Just three. Uh, it's not a great movie, but it is a movie that I grew up with. Uh, <laughs> it's, I'm pretty sure it's the first Jaws I saw because, uh, again, it played on TV all the time. Uh, I can, like I said, I can still tell you the commercial breaks where they show up in the movie. Um, I've always liked the Jaws series. Like I, I can. It's obvious that none of them are on the level of Jaws. Like that's. I think that's uh, why um, widely agreed upon that Jaws is you know kind of the be all end all as far as that goes. One of the but best movies ever it, made. Uh, no, I'm, I really <laughs> is. It really is. We, I, when it came, when it was re released in theater, like uh, was it last it was, year. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. For the, oh, it was I beautiful. Forgot, I forgot how beautiful that movie is. 
mm-hmm. like how it's shot. It's it's a perfect movie. It's perfect. Um, the sequels less so, but there is there are things you can find in those movies that are enjoyable. I, I like Jaws two. And that's I mean it is a slasher movie on the water. Um, Jaws three I think has it's got enough elements for me. Um, I like the characters. Like they're just the characters you can like. Whereas in a lot of movies these days, they only make characters that you don't even like. They're just bad people. Yeah. And you don't care about them. And if they die, like so what? Like I I don't like that. But they're just they seem like you know normal people. They have fun with each other. They're you know they're having fun throughout the movie. Um, it is not like a shark attack movie because they kind of have the little shark. A little, and then the big shark comes in near the end. So there's not kind of like that constant presence. It is kind of focuses more on the people. They're interesting people, and I like the actors who are playing them. Um, but uh, but all in all, I think um, I mean I've seen this movie maybe almost like fifty to a hundred times. Like I've seen this a lot. Every now and again, I'll go through and like I just bought like the shitty two through four. DVD pack at Walmart the other day and I'll, I'll sit down and I'll watch them. I'll just watch them through. Um, so I do revisit this series. Um, I do find them entertaining. Um, I may not watch this one for a while because I mean, <laughs> well, just because seeing it in 3d like this well on a this Blu-ray, like I'm you don't fucking... for, for, for a while. I'll be good as far as this movie goes. Cause this was, uh, I mean, this was pretty good. It's finally, it was great to finally see it in 3d. Like I've been watching it in 2d for my whole life. So this was fantastic. Um, I would, I mean, I think I recommend the movie. Like I like this movie. Um, I mean, it's got flaws obviously, but if you can like, they just released in uh, Blu-ray and 3d, Definitely watch it that way because it was uh, it's great to finally see it that way. But even in like 2D, uh, there's in, enough in this movie to enjoy. So I recommend it. All right. My turn. Uh, well, I'm here on a spur of a moment thing. You know, same same day call up from my triple A job here uh, to coming up to the majors. And uh, I, I seen on Facebook that, that Holly couldn't make it. And I, I liked on on the on the topic i'm like man jaws 3d i'm like how awesome would that to see jaws 3d in 3d finally you know not very finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh we have an answer oh, oh he could have spent an oh. evening with his children <laughs> 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 yeah um but uh and and colin gave me a call he's like you know we got a spot open you know come in and watch it i was like Pfft. Hell yeah, screw whatever plans I had tonight. <laughs> uh, I know it's her birthday. I don't John. care. I don't care. It's our anniversary. It's on 3D. Right? But uh, yeah, I, I was like, Jaws 3D. In 3D? I'm like, hell yeah. Because I've seen this movie, you know, like I said, you know, all the time as a kid. It was one of my first endeavors in the Jaws. It was mm-hmm. the first Jaws movie I've seen that, you know, my parents were like, all right, you know, you. You know, we rented this movie, you know, come and watch it with this. And it was like, at, you know, what was I, like four or five, you know, five or six even. Yeah. And it was like, holy cow, this is cool, you know. And, you know, as growing up, you keep watching over and over again. And, you know, it you know, it has its cheesy parts in that. But it loses some luster, but. Yeah, but tonight, you know, watching, I was like, hell yeah, it's in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> It does a lot. Sometimes that trumps oh, all. You're just oh, like, it's, but it's in 3D. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it was everything that I was hoping that would be. You know, I'm I'm not saying this is a, a an award winning movie or anything, but <laughs> it didn't. I mean, even did, win. it didn't win a Razzie. No, I think they took things. They took awards from, from, they took it awards from but didn't the win. people. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that and, money we gave you to make this movie, we're taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I just recently, you know, we watched, we bought the anniversary edition of blu-ray on uh, the the jaws and introduced my kids to it and they think it's freaking awesome so we're you know gonna uh, i'm not ashamed to bring them in the two three and four you know down the road here oh sure and uh yeah three you know i i say watch it you know if you if you have the chance to watch it in 3d that's the way to watch it you can Purchase it through a link on our oh, website, shit. which is Saturday Night Freak Show. Blogspot.com. It'll link you right over to the Amazon uh, thing so you can purchase Jaws 3D. Do it. I, you're it's like 10 bucks. Come on. Jaws 3 on, right. uh, on Amazon. <clears throat> is that it? You were done. Okay. So the 
yeah, there's no way that I can really uh, give this a completely objective review, right? I mean, because <laughs> like I think uh, Sean and Nick, I've been watching this movie. I've seen this movie hundreds of times. Yeah. Like, I love Jaws. as <laughs> It is a great movie, right? But I have seen Jaws 3D a lot more than I have seen Jaws oh because God. it is it has oh. been it's been yeah. the great white buffalo. <laughs> what I didn't tell you about the little semi autobiographical uh, detour that I took earlier. Yeah, I was nine. Yeah, Jaws 3D came out, and my fucking parents wouldn't take me to see oh, it. Now oh. this is back in the day, like because I was begging, I was like, "Come on, we got to go see this." And I remember it playing for like two weeks, and it was gone. Oh, Even though it made like a decent amount of money, sure. they said they pulled it and it was like it was pulling in, you know, against more per theater, the Return of the Jedi at the time. But they still canned it like two weeks in because they had to put Metal Storm in for some fucking reason. Uh, fucking Metal, Storm was like, again. Metal Storm was like a pickup that Universal made. They're like, well, we're outfitting all these theaters with the adapters. Mm -hmm. We need something to, you know, fill. And they're like, somebody's making a 3D movie. Let's buy that fucking thing. Doesn't matter if it's shitty or not. We'll put it in all the theaters right after Jaws 3. So I didn't get to see it in the theater. If you didn't see Jaws 3D in the theater in 1983, you were pretty much fucked for ever seeing that movie in 3D. And I yeah. knew that at the time. At nine years old, I fucking knew that. I was like, God damn it. I'm not going to be able to see this fucking movie. I've been hunting they it They don't down. make 3D VHS, Dad. That's right. I'm like, it's not going to be in red and blue and all this other fucking shit. This is your shot to see it. And if you miss it, it's gone. I didn't see it. So this put it... In a rarefied, like, white <laughs> buffalo kind of, uh, just the great white buffalo. Just since it's rare, it's, you yeah. Know, and I had, so that. I became obsessed with Jaws 3D. I saw, like, you know, I had the fucking Tops cards, I think, and, you know, like all the, the record album, all this stuff. Did you create, did you make a part of this 3D? Like the scene where he crashed through the glass, like no, you did for Friday the 13th? Where did you I, find uh, that? Because you showed it, that to us one yeah, night. Yeah, because the, Jap the Japanese put it out on the VH VHD disc. Right. 3D in the 90s and the Sensio DVD I got a, a torrent of at some point. Gotcha. It, so it's been out there kind of in, for a while, but this final Blu-ray release is like, okay, this is the real deal that <laughs> Universal is finally putting it out. And then it's like I get shit on because they fucking put it out as a special feature on its own movie. You know, it's not Jaws 3D, even though the title's Jaws 3D, it's still called Jaws 3 on the day. It's been Jaws 3 longer than it's been Jaws 3D. Well, if it was Jaws 3D, people wouldn't buy it because they would think it's specifically in 3D, and yeah. they want to yes. trick people to just buy the fucking movie. Right. Because yeah. who right. the fuck is going to buy Jaws 3 by itself? Yeah. So that's... Uh, that's why they put those movies together. I guess, you know, so I'm aware... I guess I'm aware of the flaws of this movie, but, like, to me, the movie works. Like, <laughs> unapologetically, it works. And maybe that's because, like I said, I've seen it, like, so many goddamn times that it's just kind of, you know, uh, like sandpaper. You know, you've smoothed <laughs> the thing off. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. So cool. it's like, I love it. It totally yeah. works. Uh, there's parts that... You're, yeah, it's like, yeah, the special effects are cheesy. Yeah, it sucks that at the end they take, you know, the... Um, the Sean and Kelly characters out of the fucking movie and, and have dolphins stand in for them. It's like, yeah, the shark uh, looks fake as all hell, but it still works. And this time I was like, you know, because I was a lot more critical of it sitting back here while you guys were watching it. I'm like, you know, because you're, you're watching with people and it's like, Oh, now the movie is like under criticism. There's yes. people studying it. Cause we're going to be talking about it later. And I'm like sitting there going like, you know, the thing that's actually working about this movie are the characters are, uh, they feel like real people. Mm. And I know that, you know, there's people out there who shit all over this movie and say that, you know, the characters suck and the actors suck. And I'm like, I don't see how that is. They all seem like natural performances. They seem like real people in a way that, as Sean was saying, they're not like cynical. They're not tortured by some, you know, thing. It's like, yeah, something happened in my past, you know, as far as the shark attack. <laughs> yeah. But that's basically as far as as deep as that gets. <clears throat> they are still fun loving people. They like hanging out with each other. There's a lightness to their personalities and to the movie itself. The score is like buoyant and joyful, kind of, even though it's got that dun 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 dun, you know. But it's all uplifting kind of thing. Bright colored movie. I don't know. It just it's like a feel good summer movie, you yeah. know. I know we missed Shark Week. We apologize, but we this did. is like our tribute to. Uh, but it's a, uh, you know, it's just a fun movie i think and it is no jaws but i think on a certain level you can appreciate this as a decent entertainment 
if you see it in 3D, uh, which I think I say is the only way to see it. Yeah. Right? I say in 2D, it's a mediocre movie. In 3D, it's a fucking great goddamn you know <laughs> movie to me. So uh, see Jaws, 3D in 3D. Boom. That's the final word. So next week we're gonna be watching. Sorry, Holly. Travis is moving. And Travis, what are we going to be watching? Oh, man, because of you specifically, you inspired me. We were watching Superman 3. Oh. <laughs> 1983. The Richard Pryor one. What's going the on? one that scared no. the shit out of me as a kid. That right. scare all of you. Oh, my God. All right, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>